the two um, sides, so to speak, of Hezbollah is really are one and the same. The military, military uh, wing uh, does not act unilaterally on its own. And the political side is not also independent from um, the military uh, apparatus that Hezbollah has. So they work very well, very well together, and they, their activities is coordinated. But of course, Hezbollah wants to create an artificial separation because Hezbollah is part of the Lebanese government. And so the political wing is engaged with the affair of the states, but again, they get their clues also with this. What is going to serve Hezbollah's interest is going to be very important in their political deliberation as part of the, of the Lebanese government. So to try to make a distinction between the two will be artificial, but there are different two apparatus. There is a political and there is a military wing. But they are, again, as I said, they work fairly together and they do not in any way attempt or try to contradict one another, not internally and certainly not to the outside world. Well, I don't think you can actually have uh, a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict without uh, direct or indirect participation of Hamas and eventually at, at a minimum acquiescence of Hamas because Hamas is not just an organization. Hamas represents uh, one-third of the Palestinian population, nearly a million and a half in Gaza. And it is hard to imagine how Israel can make peace with the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, albeit they wish they could, and ignoring Hamas altogether. I don't think that can happen. So the best thing for Hamas to do if they want to be a part of the political process is at a minimum uh, abandon just the way uh, the Palestinian Authority did a few years ago. Abandon uh, violence as a mean by which to achieve a political solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And until they do so, they will be, remain an uh, um, unacceptable partner to the negotiating process. I'm not sure that Israel should demand or can demand from Hamas to recognize Israel in advance or um, adhere to prior agreements that achieve between Israel and Palestinian. Hamas should be viewed as a political par as a party. A party, they can have any kind of platform, as long as their platform does not call for the destruction of the State of Israel. That is the only criteria. The others, they can believe in anything they want to believe in. But as long as they renounce terrorism and their platform does not include the goal of destroying Israel, then they should become, they can become and should become a legitimate partner to the negotiations.